Uh, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Jennifer Cunningham's first international show. Uh, it also happens to be a solo show, which yeah. uh, I think is an added bonus. Uh, thank you for all coming. I know that some of you have travelled from the west of Ireland and uh, some people from Dublin as well. Uh, <laughs> much appreciated. Um, <laughs> Before I hand you over to the ambassador, I would like to take the chance to thank some of the people who have made this show possible. Uh, and firstly, that would be uh, Henrietta and her husband Peter, uh, who are having us here in their wonderful gallery. Uh, as you all know, Henrietta is a superb artist herself, Ooh. and for me to be working with a gallery owner who is also an artist is a huge bonus. Um, hopefully this will blossom into a long and fruitful relationship. Ireland has, um, I suppose, an unusual uh, trajectory when you come to look at the development of the visual arts. Because if you were to Google the visual arts in Ireland, where it would start you off at is actually the discovery of gold ornaments in Ireland, dating back to around 200 years either side of 2,000 years before Christ. Now I could talk about the awards that Jennifer has won, as John has done, and she has won a number of awards. And she has also begun to be collected now by public institutions in Ireland, and also by private collectors in Ireland, and the United Kingdom, and in the US, and in Switzerland, and in Canada, and also here in Norway. But I think it's more interesting to focus on Jennifer's work itself. Because what I'm struck by is the range of skills that Jennifer has, because she works in oils and in acrylic, and as she described to me, in egg tempura, which she had to <laughs> explain to me, and also in printmaking and in film and in digital media. And she describes her work very interestingly. She said that she uses these various media to explore the inner psychological struggle of her subject. She's talked about the ongoing exploration of identity, liminal space and personal subjectivity as being at the center of her work. And yet again, she has talked about this interesting word that she says she found, sensum, or that yearning in all of us, the common spaces that we share and the common experiences through which we live. And when Jennifer spoke to me in this way about her work, I was reminded of why it is throughout history when dictators come to try to limit the freedom of individuals or to force democracy out of their environment, among the people they always will begin with are in fact the artists. And why is that? Because I suppose the artists are the ones who take us to the edge, who force us to look into ourselves, into our own psyches, who invite us to ask questions of ourselves and the world around us and the sort of values that we have. And then I was thinking that how privileged I was to be an Irish person and to be living in Norway, because both of our countries, Norway and Ireland, we cherish our artists. We support them and we protect them because we understand the very significant, the invaluable contribution which they make to society. I found it intriguing, thought-provoking, and very, very enjoyable. So I invite you to look at her work, to enjoy it, to examine it, to think about it in the way I found pleasure in doing, and to enjoy your evening. <laughs> Thank you.